This was crack all I can say Nothing, I'm just cracking up Cutting up a couple of crack addicts and having fun What's fucking happening, Don? Nothing, I'm just smashing nuns Cutting up a couple of lines or something He's shagging mums It's those dirty, rotten motherfuckers Cut them up, dump the guts in a dumpster It's those filthy, stinking motherfuckers Bust a nut and find the butt in front of a truck ah. It's a party I'm the only one invited I don't know no one inside and I'm starting to get a bit scared <laughs>
the state your horrible accents in. I'm honestly adamant this Scottish embarrassment is a solid comparison to Hoggle from Labyrinth. Very good. Oh! 90 seconds. All right, 90 seconds of Gaston Dex. Yeah! All right, yo. Scott BB. Hold it down, please. Yo. Listen, Lutch, you're getting mucked. I dig this massive spastics grave, and after he's passed away, I'll go and murder the rest of Adam's family. Yeah. And who gives a fuck what Sean Penn or where Sean Bean? Probably at his obscene bird's house washing this prom queen's cornrows while Sean Combs. You got an addiction to dick Sean or dick Sean's ditch with dick Sean. Dissect Sean's cops and select Sean's box. Man, you have been a week full since preschool and this is the blackest guy you know and I bet you feel cool. <laughs> Well, he's looking like somebody poured a bottle of bleach in his gene pool. <laughs> Hold on, wait! Who the fuck painted ghost dog beige? I feel so I feel sorry for your mother with them 94 old dog braids. But you ain't thug. You got the AIDS bug. Looking like you got them braids done at the Braille Club. Nail up. <laughs> Man, listen, you were privately educated and got made an ass victim. He's grand living well, he jacks children. Look, everybody, it's the opposite ends of the class system. <laughs> and I don't intend to offend you, tend to, but fucking hell, dude, with them two front teeth, I bet you could eat this whole venue in ten, in ten juice. <laughs> Faggot, faggot, when I was, faggot, when I was wasting the grave diggers, you were raving with gay strippers, yeah. looking like somebody attacked your face with a pair of stray scissors. <laughs> 90 seconds, 90 seconds, 90 seconds, 90 seconds. Yo, Come on, man. Check it. Yeah, yo. I am tall. I see shit from a mountain view. But even if I wasn't stood at this altitude, I'd continue looking down on you. Yo, and on the real, how the fuck are Scottish rappers offending me? These guys strive to make every beat by wiring bagpipes to an NPC. <laughs> Yo, that's right. And I'll run over this meat beater in a three-wheeler. And for your sake, I hope you're a deep sleeper, cos it must suck getting woke up by street sweepers. And do you actually think dissing his braids is fair when these two like to braid each other's anal hair? <laughs> Yo, check it out. How the fuck can this needle crazy Smeagol face me? He ain't even been sleeping lately, seeing babies on his ceiling daily. Oh. Yo, your fucking, your country lead fiendish lives. How the fuck you gonna talk about my teeth in spite when it's clear to see that yours ain't even white? Yeah. Look at the fucking perm on this dude. Honestly, it's disturbing that you look like a younger version of Scrooge. And the second he emerged from the womb, he was caught by the nurse in the emergency room burning a spoon. Yo, check it out. Yo, yo, yo. And the reason Rooney wanted to leave Manu is obvious. It ain't because he's lacking cash in his pocket. It's for the simple fact his manager's Scottish. Yo. Bitch. Yo, I'll make this. Yo, check. I'll, I'll make this strange Highland elf hate life itself. And I know your face kind of well. Screech from Saved by the Bell. <laughs> so fuck this AIDS patient. Mate, you need to see an estate agent because sleeping in a train station is not a safe haven. And, and, I'm, sure, and I'm sure something's gone wrong. Innuendo, you forgot one of your pom-poms. <laughs> yo, yo. 90 seconds, 90 seconds. Come on, cousin, you're not thugging. You're from York, knocking. This posh fucking his dogs go fox hunting and horse jumping. On his back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Faggot, you love to taste nut and testies and wear makeup and dresses, and your bud's that fat she has to wake up in sections. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not, back, I'm not trying to be no mixed racist. But your faces, the same shades as yeah, your yeah. trainers. Oh yeah, ah. really? And if white men can't jump, then you must just be a couple of generations away from a slam dunk. <laughs> <laughs> now that's just hard luck, you <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Yo, but you don't shag that skank. You just have a wank while Rachel's sleeping. Till she wakes up and catches him calling the police, like, please, there's been a racial beating! <laughs> Tensh, I bet you try to go throw up a gang sign, but you're that fucking dumb, you get confused, like, oh, what hand's mine? <laughs>
And as for that, stop you right! Fuck your life! I'll poop up in this sucker's drive you, mother of fucker twice two, brothers get punched and knife. Grandmother slaps, mothered ass bugger, then shoved inside the van, cut the slag up, get gas covered, match chop, then that slot gets burnt alive. That's what? how I rap about murder, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're about to get killed, man! You're about to get killed, man! Chill, fam! Prick, you were raised in a silk pram, and I think somebody's mother was fucking the milkman. <laughs> yeah, the milkman. He's like, I'm a black or white. Hmm, I can take either option, but the cars stop at the zebra crossing. <laughs> and you both rap like old people, fuck. Not very well, you fucking fudge packing bum captains. <laughs> Alright, 90 seconds, 90 seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you don't want to chill the fuck out. Yeah. Yo, yo, what the fuck we battling for? You know, we deserve the cash reward. You two just make the masses bored the way you keep going back and forth like he's a dick robin. McLovin. Drink drugging. A dick. Who's a kid touching? Jeff Lovin. Jeff Lovin. What the fuck is that shit? See, when he's battling, it's strange because the accent is insane. It's embarrassing to say that our language is the same. And crossing the Scottish border is really bizarre. I hope there's an earthquake that breaks it apart just to separate your shitty nation from ours. Yo, yo, check it out, yo. And the fact that England and Scotland are connected makes me frown more. Because it's the worst thing about our country and the best thing about yours. Yo, check it out. Yo, yo. And on the real, don't ever think you're bringing us hard trouble. Understanding your accent's a hard struggle. It's fucking part conversation, part puzzle. <laughs> and, you, and you can find them hiding in a bin just like Oscar the Grouch with binoculars out spying on Sean Connery's house. <laughs> <laughs> and no one likes these comical clowns. They're so Scottish and proud they've got tattoos of Conor McLeod. Yo, check it out. Yo, yo, and I am a horse. Your mum loves my stallion chum. I had that slag in a barn recording a porn scene from Animal Farm. <laughs> Yo, seriously, seriously, and I am tall, I fucking reach the clouds. Your bitch don't even need to crouch when I got my penis out to feed her mouth. Oh. And I really don't mean he's a gangster that holds glocks when I say he's the most street rapper in dope flop. <laughs> and yeah, you can say his teeth are big, unlike your penises. Mate, I bet you've got a fucking needle dick between them hips. Yo, and your fucking country's flag just makes me vex now. It ain't even a white cross, it's a blue flag that's been X'd out. <laughs> Yo, it's getting heated. Last round on Gasp and Depths at Scotland. Let's go. Man, your buds are ugly every time you try and fuck her, you get stage fright. And I know she's only been fucked by six guys in her whole life. On the same night. But when you do finally fuck her, I'd wear a rubble just to be safe, right? Now nah, fuck that door, raw dog is cool, you can't catch AIDS twice. <laughs> so hands up, who thinks this Lego fag's a killer? Thought so, if I hit this bitch, you'd see Lego land in Windsor. So who the fuck let this retarded farmer in? Rapping bars as if Parkinson cut Parkinson. <laughs> You're a pretty, you're a pretty quiet cunt in person, a little four-year-old's vagina, and you're a pretty ugly cunt in person, a 64-year-old's vagina. Oh wow, oh wow, I'm so proud. I'm battling the actual Portsmouth for Portsmouth. Look, look at that stupid smell. Fuck a root canal. Them shits get used to root canals. <laughs> all they need, all they need is a door number, a driveway with a Porsche butler and four Hummers. The dentist must need a floor buffer to polish those fuckers. <laughs> he must be loving you, buckaroo. <laughs> Fuck a brace, fam. Face facts. When you were eight, you got made to wear actual train tracks. <laughs> And even with your lips closed, I can still see you smiling with that white grin. And when your folks got married, your mum gave your dad a paedophile ring. But, it, <laughs> yo, but it's, nice, it's nice you work with kids, man. Fucking shame for them, though. They always say they want to play Nintendo, but every day make some play with Lego. And I'll put, and I'll put Tensho in a box, then drive him back to his stables. And Lego's a faggot. 90 seconds, 90 seconds. Yo, make some noise, let's go.
Alright, yo, Monster Under the Bed, aka Don Silk, Children of the Damn Shit, Macabre Brothers, Blow Records. Like, finals of the doubles. Honestly, I think Macabre Brothers got it. He did. They won. Nah. And he sold me some weed today. <laughs> Fucking awesome. Shh. Listen, though, on the real, I think that the Scottish team were crazy with it. I think that the slam dunk bar was crazy. Like, that's mad. But I think that on a, like, a consistent level, Tenchu and Lego bodied it. More creative. Rhyming was crazy. And they bounced off each other well. I just think they got it, man. So, Tenchu and Lego. But big up Gas and Depths. It was a crazy battle. Big up the tournament. Blah. M to the A, free mixtape out now, check the MySpace, myspace.com forward slash Warden Norton. Hot battle, fucking shut it down, do you know what I mean? Like, that shit was so sick, I think I busted up, no homo, no homo, of course. Uh, no doubt, but homie Lego and Tenchu took it, they shut it down, do you know what I mean? Uh, that was sick, that was sick. Don't flop doubles, motherfucker, you know, you know. Say Yeah. <laughs> Man. Crazy in it, I feel. Uh, uh, it's and I mean, Lee Scott, by the way, yeah. Uh, I think Tenchu and Lego got it. it was uh, why Tenchu just flipped everything, everything at the, a couple of the bars. The Gaspin Death said that they were sick, man. But a couple of bars they said maybe I've heard before. I don't know, man. Like Lego and Tenchu, man. But yeah, big up Gasp and Death Stall, definitely, man. Sick, like, bro. Yeah, hard, hard, don't flop. Lee Scott. Yo, ZT, um, straight to the point. Very worthy final. Both teams came fucking terrific. Very, very good. Right, a couple of things in that battle did annoy me, though. It was the crowd. The crowd, they were overcompensating bars that, that I'm not saying they didn't deserve the reaction. Well, the, they basically got a lot of reaction for bars that I didn't think were that strong um, and that was mostly around me so I, I'm not taking any crowd reaction into consideration whatsoever I personally think that um, that Lego and Tenchu took the first the second was really close I, uh, I think that was the line with the slam dunk line that was really really good uh, and then the third round I'll, I'll give it to Tenchu and Lego so, so in three rounds uh, Tenchu and Lego I uh, think they deserve to win the tournament they smashed it from each battle I'm not saying that uh, they Scotland didn't deserve to get there because they did they absolutely they smashed it very good entertaining the town let's say very worthy battle but um, my my, uh, my verdict's going with Tenchu and Lego so yo it's J man we got top billing fan now we're doing it um, we got O'Shea and I doing it. Salam, man. Huge, 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 amazing. Battle. Who won? I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Save. <laughs> Save. Save. Don't know the pan. Um, oh, amazing, amazing final. Um, really hard to call. I want to say that first. Like, big ups to both of them. Like both uh, groups. Like they've done really well to get to the final. But on the last one, all I can really call. I'm just basing it straight on the hard punchlines, who was coming hard on that st like, st uh, straight fire. Like, I don't know, Tenchu and Nego definitely got, I don't know, got me and I got a lot more of what they were, where they were coming from. I think the Scottish, but obviously depth and um, man, man, so a lot of the stuff went over our heads and things like that and like, didn't really understand everything, so obviously that was in my heart. I'd say from my point, Tenchu and Nego, but that was still crazy love for both of them. Yo, we're back here the final judge's decision. Please, everyone, show some appreciation for the whole tournament and everybody. Yeah. 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 On the real, like, like I said, it's been four months we've had teams from Ireland, Scotland, London, the north of England, everywhere, man. And it came down to these two teams. I'm fucking big fans of both of them, man. By the way, also, the winning team gets to battle a big two-on-two -two battle in, from Grind Time here in Vibar next uh, January or February 2011. It's going to be very, very big. But the judges went off and they deliberated and they came back with a decision. And the winners of the money and the whole tournament are Tenshu and Lego. <laughs> Here against 
still in the Blade Bar courtyard, man. The doubles tournament is over. I'm here with the winners, man, and with Lego attention, another round of applause for them. I'm gonna start with Lego. What do you feel about the battle and your performance, both your performances? How do you feel it went? Perfect, man. Yeah. Couldn't have gone any better. Like, we were vibing off each other's lines, and they came sick as ever. They were, they were actually crazy good, weren't they? Yeah, from like, from the, uh, the shaking line of that. Yeah, that was good. That was good. I was about to say. I thought because when I was rapping as well, I felt like I was doing that, like getting into the mode of it, like, and then just you know, you said like a Parkinson's. Like, so, how easy do you personally tend to? How did you, how easy do you find it writing for them? Because it seemed pretty natural, the things you were saying seemed like yeah, but it was pretty difficult because I've never really come across them too often like that. They're, they're still kind of new to me. I've never really heard of them. I only met them at the, the quarterfinals. So it was kind of hard like, to train for them, man. I kind of went for the Scottish approach and came out winners. So how do you feel if you battled them in Scotland, how would you have approached it differently? How, well, would, how would you have taken? Because obviously you couldn't be dropping. Do you know what I mean? Like what, what other angle? Do you know what I mean? How, do you think it would have been a lot harder or what? It would have been a lot harder. I wouldn't have said half the stuff I said. <laughs> obviously, you know what I mean. But um, I kept saying that to them. You know, I think they've been in Scotland. It might have been different. But like I said, I don't really know them too well. I've not seen them. Ain't seen them in battles much before this tournament. It would have been difficult, you know. So that's why I'm talking about them. What's good with this O'Shea tension, man? Are we going to see that in the future? Are we going to see that in 2011? Uh, uh, no comment. No comment. You heard it first. So, like, overall, so I'm going to ask this to you and I'm going to ask this to you as well. Give me some names of people from Grind Time as you've won, you know, part of your prize. You win, you win a two on two next year. The two people from Grind Time. Throw some names out there. Who would you like? I don't even have a clue, man. Tell the truth, like, put me on the spot. You think of a few, man. I mean, I've got a lot of food on. Any names you have intention to take up? Uh, I'm like, oh man, I've got a lot of people, man, like Surgeon General, you know, Johnny Storm, you know, some of the West Coast heads, man, like, oh man, loads of them, Dirtbag, you know, Thesaurus, even Disaster, man, you know? I was waiting for that name, I ain't gonna lie, I was waiting for that name. You know, so, so finally, it don't matter, man, you know, it's all for fun at the end of the day. Yeah. And talking about this whole thing as a whole, obviously, you know, obviously the start of this fun, the tournament was alive, we put it together in low pop, it seems good, you two became a popular team instantly. In the future, are we going to see you tag teaming again or what? So I think personally, on the crowd floor, you two got mad chemistry rapping, so are you two going to tag again? Yeah, I never happens, and I'm always going to tag it up, definitely. Right, yeah, ain't saying when, but sometimes I said, when we're next to some 2 on 2 see. Well, I said, these are your winners, man. We've got Lego, we've got Tenchi, I'm saying safe to Lego, I'm saying safe to Tenchi. We've got doflop.com, got yourself a t shirt, let's go. Big one. Well, yeah, we're back here, we just ended the second birthday of October 2008 to October 2010. It's your boy Earth, I'm here with the finalist, introduce yourself, Ben, mate. That's BMC, that's the setting. My name's Dex. Well worth it. Right. Little quick interview. The day's over. Everyone's twinkling out and shit. We get this done. So I've asked Dex first. How did you feel about your performance? And how did you feel about that as a whole? It was cool, man. Like, it was, it's nice to have these fucking dudes coming up. Dallas was some good shit, man. You know what I mean? Like, best battle I've been in definitely. Yeah. Got most of shit out. All right, man. Fuck me. I don't know man, it was good, it was good, I had, I had fun, that's how, important. How did you two find preparing? Did you find it easy? Did you say you find it easy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, those have been quite a lot of battle things, so, I don't know, it's kind of like, we've got, we've got to work up the same angle and stuff, you know, so. but yeah man, it was good, it was good, like, like I say man, best battle, best battle. How, so fast man, how did you feel you were received by the crowd? Did you feel you were positively received or how did you feel? Do you feel like if the battle took place in Scotland, it would have been a different outcome? Do you feel like? Because I know obviously they had a lot of Scottish orientated shit. How do you feel? They would have been able to do that. But where I stand here, that's that's cool. But that's a bit. That's a bit you don't, you don't feel like you got jerked, you, feel like you, you just feel like it was a fair battle and it couldn't have ended up. Well, like, you know, we're up against it, Scottish people in England battling, you know what I mean? That's what it is, but it's fucking cool, it's nice to be in the final. Last question, are we going to see you two back again? 
Yeah, you come out someone else? Watch out for the music pool, that's the main yeah, fucking yeah, grade, that's the main grade, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, Album coming soon, get this boy's mixtape as well. Buy that shit! Congrats, you killed the tournament! No flop, let's go.